Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information. Normally, we'll run through the whole comprehensive examination process. Um, we'll have a look at your teeth. Of course, we have to make sure that you're free from any dental decay and any gum disease to begin with. So once we give you the kind of clean bill of health, um, that's when we'll start to talk about whitening with you. We really have to make sure everything is kind of like all, all good and well before we sort of start to look at that. I would sort of classify a bit of both because of course, you know, whitening is good. I mean, it's aesthetic um, procedure. It makes you look good and stuff. But I mean, in terms of wellness as well, it gives you, I guess, a more confident smile. Um, that in turn, I, it will also lead to, I mean, you know, a more pleasant look. I think it will sort of, I, I guess it will help as well um, with, I guess, your day-to-day -day work and things like that because, you know, especially if you're dealing with a lot of customers. So with the whitening as well, I guess it will give you a more confident smile. So with teeth whitening as well, of course if you sort of do it at home, there are sort of home remedies that um, people have sort of you know, thought of and to do. But of course I would say the results won't be as efficient because the whole process obviously is more of an you know, oxidation process. So you actually need um, quite strong uh, agents to sort of do that. And if you were to do that at home, it's, it's not a controlled environment you'll probably do more harm than good, especially to your gums and things like that, rather than, you know, if you come into us and do it professionally, um, we obviously will take all the necessary precautions to make sure things go well and it's all done in a professional way. Basically, when we clean everything up and we isolate everything properly, because with the agents that we use for whitening, if you get it onto the gums, you will actually um, cause a chemical irritation. The gums will actually turn white and obviously the worst case scenario is gums can even recede if um, the concentration is too high and it's left there for too long. So normally when we do professional whitening, we will actually put a gum barrier to actually protect your gums away and then apply the agent onto your teeth, which of course that's what it's meant for, to whiten your teeth and we'll get everything out of the way so it you know, things are done properly as well. So what we'll do is basically we'll sit you down, um, we'll put a set of retractors onto your teeth, I mean we'll clean and polish everything up, get rid of all the plug and uh, any of the debris that you own, sometimes from lunch, <laughs> things like that. Uh, get rid of that for you and then we'll apply the um, gum protector or like, like it's like a gel that goes over your gums that would actually help, like I said earlier, push the gums, um, get the gums out of the way before we apply the agent onto your teeth. And, that, and then before we put the light on, and that will help with the whitening process. The um, basis of um, the whitening gel is actually a hydrogen peroxide or even carbamide peroxide. So it will actually penetrate through your teeth, release um, oxygen-free radicals. And that in turn will actually attack the stains that's on the tooth itself break that down and get rid of that and then because um, some patients I know are a bit worried about you know this chemical process is it harmful to me or things like that but I mean with carbamide or hydrogen peroxide what happens is that actually breaks down to just water and oxygen so the oxygen free radicals the one that of course will attack the stains but I mean the other part is water we just wash it away In a layman term, how I explain to my patients is this, I mean, if I get a pot of black paint, how much white paint I would need to actually whiten that. So you need a lot of white paint to, white, to whiten a black, you know, can of paint. Whereas if you are kind of like, you know, in a brown or even like yellowish you pro uh, teeth, you'll probably need less whitening to actually get that. Put it this way, I wouldn't say it's impossible to do it. It's just a lot, it's a process that's just a lot tougher. I wouldn't say impossible, What's even harder than that is actually when you have a lot of intrinsic stains that's actually internal instead of external. And of course, oral health and general health has some form of correlation. So just to elaborate on that, um, of course, you know, diabetes, high blood pressure and high cholesterol is something that's quite common in our community. Um, with that, if you are diabetic or even high blood pressure, you probably would have more oral health issues or oral manifestations um, from that because they are kind of correlated. So just to 
give you an example. Um, a poorly controlled diabetic has a higher risk of gum problems, what we call periodontal disease, because when you have poor um, sugar levels or poor control of your sugar levels, um, that in turn actually activates inflammatory processes that will actually contribute to breaking down of your you know, gums and bone, which obviously leads to gum disease. So that's just one example of that. Um, another sort of, I think research has been done to show that if you have gum disease, a bacteria that's all in the mouth can actually travel through your bloodstream into, I mean, let's say the heart, because you're, you know, the circulation of your whole body, I mean, it's one system. So with the bacteria getting there, you're probably uh, at a higher risk for heart disease or any form of you know, heart issues because of that. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.